What is up, beautiful people? It's me, Tara J, back again with another one. And today, I'm giving you a few habits that you need to pick up to reach happiness. As we all know, happiness does come from within. So these are the things that you have to build within you to reach the happiness that you would like to reach. Because it's nothing better in life than having peace and happiness and being content with you, okay? But before we get into that, I do wanna make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. So go ahead right now, subscribe to my channel, don't wait and hit the bell right next to the subscribe button so you know every time I post a video. And while you're there, you might as well just give this video a big thumbs up because why not? <laughs> All right, guys, let's get into the video. As I stated, these are 20 habits for happiness, something that you need to develop to reach happiness. I'm not saying that this may work for everyone, but it definitely works for me. And I thought, hey, why not let me help them out and let me help them reach happiness because again the most important thing is life in life is to being happy within you okay that's the most important but as you guys know i do have my handy dandy laptop my notepad is here so i'm going to be giving you 20 things 20 habits to develop for happiness number one is be kind be kind to yourself and be kind to others that's very important make sure you be kind to yourself and others you're your health matters just as much as someone else's. I'm one of those people that's like, oh, I like to treat people how I want to be treated because that's how I was raised. I'm not so sure. The, nowadays, the generations are different, but how I was raised with my grandparents and my parents, I was raised to treat others how I want to be treated. And that's simply just being kind. It takes nothing to be kind. It's literally three. Two, eat well. I mean, of course, I can't give you no advice <laughs> on eating well, eating well because, of course, I'm still up and down with it. I'm so proud of myself, though, but it was last week I have not eaten red meat. I had nachos last night, but the week before that, <laughs> I did not eat red meat. So I'm working on that. I'm working on cutting out the red meat out of my life. I'm working on drinking constant water. That's something I do all day long. I drink about four or five bottles of water a day, which is amazing. Um, I'm making sure I eat fruit in the morning, yogurt in the morning, oatmeal, something very healthy first thing in the morning, just so I can get my blood flow and my body going. So that's very important. Eat well is number two. Number three, exercise. That clears your mind. It, some people use exercise as like a relief, stress reliever, but, but it's definitely important to make sure you exercise and stay physically healthy. Is very important excuse me I have the hiccups and that ties into the next one number four is meditate meditating calms the mental physical exercising may calms the physical but meditating calms the mental everything on the inside okay I love it that's why I'm like this <laughs> because I've been exercising I've been meditating listening to all these common sounds that's so soothing and it's just so perfect for you like you don't even know you can literally just be washing dishes listening to um meditation music or meditation sounds or you can be reading a book to it showering to it it really really does cleanse your whole entire brain it really does it it's soothing it calms you down it helps your breathing all of that stuff meditating is very important Number five, be honest. Be honest not only with you, but with other people. It may hurt some people's feelings, but it's very, more, it's very, very important that you be honest versus you tell a lie to protect yourself. Number six, dream big. Okay, you can also dream small, but dream big too. I would, when I mean dream small, I mean like dream sm your small goals, short-term goals and things like that, something that you know that you can do like tomorrow, like I'm dreaming about what I'm gonna make for dinner and dinner is gonna be fire. Like that's what I'm saying. But my biggest dream is I'm gonna get a car before I'm shooting to have a car before Valentine's Day. I'm not even lying. My goal is I wanted the Subaru, so I'm speaking it into existence, manifesting it. The Subaru 2021, the new cross track, but I'm also now looking at the <laughs> Jeep Renegades because they're beautiful, 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 beautiful. 
So if I pull up in a video in one of these cars before Valentine's Day, you gonna know I manifested that shit, okay? Mm -hmm. But number seven, be patient. Don't rush life. Just let life happen for you. Don't rush life because you never know if today is your last day. Live in the moment and just be calm and just be patient and let it happen for you. Just let it happen. Just like this car. I'm just gonna let it happen because I know it's coming. I know it is. <laughs> Number eight, judge less. I would say don't judge people if you don't want them judging you. If you're one of those people that hate being judged, let the judgments go. Because what you give out in the universe is what you're going to get back. Number nine, smile often. That's something that I love to do. I love smiling. I can't even, sometimes I, it's a, like an unconscious thing. I smile a lot, a lot. I cannot even help it, but it's, it helps you get through your day. It's so healthy. And it's a main known fact to happiness within you. Smiling. I bet if you smile at 10 people, they're going to smile back at you. And you probably going to make that day. And it's going to make you feel better too. And you're not even going to know. Number 10, love yourself. <laughs> I can't get enough of me. So make sure you guys cannot get enough of you. Because again, that's a very important fact. Very important fact to happiness is loving yourself. That actually should have been number one. Number 11, forgive easily. It's okay to forgive. You don't have to forget. You don't have to forgive them for you. Even if you may not have... No, I said that wrong. I'm sorry. You don't have to forgive them for them. The forgiving is for you. They may have not even said, I'm sorry. They may have not apologized. But in order for you to move on emotionally and mentally, it's definitely best that you just forgive forgive easily never forget what happened and what was done to you and how it made you feel but forgive so you can let that go number 12 no oh yeah this is number 12 i almost lost track guys i'm always losing count but <laughs> number 12 show gratitude just be thankful not stop Thank God, thank life, thank mom, thank dad, thank the kids, thank you, thank yourself. Show gratitude, nonstop, and gratitude will be shown back to you. Number 13, think posit positively. If you're thinking negative thoughts, you're speaking that into your unconscious mind, and you're thinking, okay, you're not sure of yourself, or you're not sure of what the outcome could possibly be. So you're thinking negative and positively. But if you're thinking nothing but positivity, Positivity will happen. Positive things will begin to develop. 14, drink a lot of water. Like I said in the beginning, I drink about five water bottles a day and now my face is looking wonderful and lavishly, okay? <laughs> so that's something that's very important to happiness. Make sure you're living healthy, drinking healthy, eating healthy, being healthy, and being nice. So drink a whole lot of water, guys. That's very important. Number 15, believe in yourself. Again, if nobody ever believes in you, make sure you believe in you because that's all that matters in the end. You, you matter, you have to matter to you. So believe in yourself and believe that you can do it no matter what. If nobody else thinks that you can do it and if no one else tells you that they're proud of you, you have to be proud of you. Number 16, keep an open mind, meaning you understand that there is definitely more than one perspective in life. Your thought process is not the only way of life is so many other ways to do something so many ways to develop something so many other ways so many other people that know how to do it better than you and they didn't do it the way that you want thought it should be done so just keep your open mind that's very important number 17 put your needs first um it's very hard to feel like oh maybe that's me being selfish but it really isn't it's you being selfless to yourself you have to understand that you come first. It's okay to love and help other people and put their knees high up on the pedestal. But what happens to you? You can't let someone else consume you. You can't consume yourself trying to please the next person and you're not even pleasing yourself. Number 18 is don't make excuses. It's better off making solutions than making excuses because you stuck. You get stuck in into the whirlwind of the whirlpool or whatever you want to call it of the or you hop on the excuses train and now you can't get out because now you got one excuse after another and now you become a, an excuse person now you're procrastinating and excuses are just not good because it's just saying that you're not sure of yourself and you don't want to start yet because you're scared 
Excuses is nothing but a sign of fear. 19, speak well to others. Meaning, don't belittle anyone. Be kind to other people. Uplift other, other people when they're, when, even if they don't need it, speak life into them. Be, speak well. It's best that you speak well and people will speak well to you. And the last but not least, <laughs> listen to understand. That is very important that nowadays, people in this generation just fail to do that. They listen to respond versus listen to understand. That is very important to reaching your level of happiness that you would love to reach. Listen to understand so you can understand someone else's perspective. Or maybe you made them feel a certain type of way. So you have to listen to understand and not listen to respond. Okay, guys. <laughs> These are 20 habits that I think you need to develop for happiness. If there are other habits that you think I may have missed, definitely comment below for sure. And as you know it, these are 20 ha habits you should develop to happiness. And I'm Tara J, giving it to you straight. All right, peace.